A Grand Rapids teacher is the best teacher in the state. The award given to Bobby Joe Kenyon today during a surprise ceremony. She's the first Grand Rapids teacher to ever receive the honor. So what does it mean for the school she works for? 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson joins us live tonight with some of those answers. Danny? Well, Sue and Brian, obviously having a teacher of the year in the district is good news for Ottawa Hills. It's good news for GRPS. But despite this honor, Ottawa Hills still a work in progress. You can see the dedication written on her face and on her classroom walls, telling her students to never give up. I just want them always facing the kids. I totally believe um, in, in each one of those. But Bobby Joe Kenyon will be the first to tell you that that's not easy to do in an inner city urban school district like GRPS. For the past 14 years, the newly anointed Teacher of the Year. In Michigan Teacher of the Year, this was Bobby Joe Kenyon has seen her fair share of kids just not come back to class. It hurts. It's hard. It's hard to see when kids give up or, or you no longer see them on your attendance list and you don't know what happened to them or where they went. It's, it's terrible. It's hard. And at Ottawa Hills, although its graduation rate of nearly 66 percent is higher than the district's average, it still lags behind the state by nearly 10 percentage points. For this school to be at the bottom, basically, the very bottom, and to improve itself the way it has the last two years, this is really the story we need. State Superintendent Mike Flanagan says Ottawa Hills has steadily improved in a lot of ways. It's off a national list of the lowest performing high schools, and its students have improved in every subject for state testing. But there's a long way to go. My big philosophy is to teach these kids as if they're in any school, as if they are all going to Harvard, you know, just to give them the same opportunity that everybody else would and to teach them because they deserve it. Kenyon told us today she hopes that winning this Teacher of the Year Award honor will show people that there are great teachers in urban inner city school districts who want to stay here. Now, as a part of this new position, Kenyon will attend state school board meetings once a month. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.